Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I have an unboxing for those of you who like those unboxings. Now, it's from Mary Maxim. Um, Mary Maxim. You know I can't say it. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you're new to my channel, um, I usually do unboxings uh, from yarn companies. Sometimes they're new yarn companies that people ask me to try out. I'm more than happy to be the guinea pig and try out new yarn companies to, and tell you about the service and about the yarn. And then I also do unboxings from yarn companies that I bought from before. So um, this one's from Mary Maxim. Mary Maxim. And you'll learn I can never pronounce that. I don't know why. I even practice sometimes before the video. And I said, this doesn't roll off my tongue right. But anyways, um, I never had any trouble with Mary Mac Maxim yarn. Um, never had any problem with their customer service. Now, these are my own personal experiences. I bought from them many, many times. They're a very generous company. Um, so, yeah. So, some of this yarn in here I have purchased before. Um, and then some of it I have not. So, we'll go over it together. Now, I did um, purchase during one of their sales. I think it was 20% off. And then they had 20% shipping. My recommendation to you would be to sign up to not only Mary Maxim's but all yarn companies email lists and that way you'll always get notified when they have a good sale that's what i do i'm signed up to tons of yarn companies um, um notifications because bag of day does not like to miss a good yarn sale so i'm going to go ahead and unbox this now first of all i'm not affiliated with mary maxim i bought all this yarn myself i do not have affiliated links to where if you buy the yarn i get paid i don't get money if you buy their yarn I don't care if you buy it. I just like to do unboxings and tell people about yarn companies, tell people about different yarns because a lot of people can't get out of their house and they rely on my opinion and that really means a lot to me. A lot of people don't live in the states and they just like to see what we offer in, in the states. And a lot of people just generally like yarn unboxings. I'm one of those people. Those are my favorite videos on YouTube. So let's unbox this. What are you doing Mr. Bod? Yeah, He's interrupting my video. All right. Taking Clark for a walk. Okay, taking Clark for a walk. So let's unbox this big box and see what's inside. So uh, Mary Maximum is based in uh, um, MI. Is that, uh, I'm not good with the M states. Is that Michigan? I don't know. I could be wrong, but whatever that is. Um, anyways, so when they ship, it generally doesn't take a long time. To, usually it takes a couple days to process and then a couple days to get to my house. I live in Illinois. Um, so uh, that's that's it. I apologize if MRI is not Michigan. I'm, like I said, I'm not good with the M states when it comes to the abbreviations. I always mess them up. So open them up to my trusty box cutter. Someone sent me this. Very nice of them. I appreciate it. I love doing unboxings. They're so exciting, aren't they? Let's see what's inside. It's beautiful already. It's beautiful. Woo. You know what I got also is, let me find my um, sheet. First off is a sheet. Oh no, please send me a, here it is. That way I can tell you the prices. Yes. 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 Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, there's another one. Yes. Is that one different? Okay. I'm super excited. Now, like I said, some of the yarn I've had before, some of it I had not seen on their site before, and some of it uh, I heard was good and I wanted to try it that I never tried before. Um, so a lot of it is their own brand of yarn, um, their own Mary Ma Maxim brand. So. Let's check it out. Let's do this. Are you guys excited as I am? I'm super excited. Oh, I ripped it up in like the Incredible Hulk. All right. Let's see what we got. So I've had this before. This is their. This is the Mary Maxim Prism yarn. This is their own brand. Now this really reminds me of Unforgettable. Red Heart Unforgettable. You can see it's the roving type of yarn. Um... It's 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 100% acrylic, 290 yards, made in China. And it's a lightweight three. 
But at, since it's being a roving yarn, it's going to go from thick to thin. I see spots that look like a bulky five, and then I see spots that look like a four and a three weight. So, but that's just the nature of a roving yarn. Very pretty. I like it. Did I tell you the color of it? Iris. Iris. So these are the Mary Maxim Prism yarn are $4.99 a piece. Nice and squishy. So I got that. And I did get uh, it in. I got two of those, I think. I just don't know where the other one's at. Oh, I did. Right here. So it's pretty. It's got all different colors of purple in it. So that's the iris. And then I got it in another color. Excuse me, a little messed up on me here. Oh, it came undone. This one is the same, the Mary Max from Prism Yarn, all the same. The color is Blue Lagoon, $4.99. Very pretty. It's soft and squishy. This blue actually feels a little softer than that other one. But, you know, certain dyes make things on yarns um, different. Oh, it has washing instructions. Hand wash, lay flat. That was on the inside of the label. But it's still a very pretty yarn. And I got two of those blue lagoons. That's beautiful. Ain't that pretty teal pretty? And it's got some light blue in it. So that's the prism. I think that's all the prism I got was those two. Okay, set them to the side and let's move on. Okay, I've never had this one before. Um, this is Mary Maxim Simp Simply Natural. Okay, and these run $3.99 a piece. So let's read about it. Overall, it's a nice soft it's a uh, cotton bamboo blend. It feels nice. It is a lightweight number three, so it, I would agree with that. It's about a perfect lightweight three. It's very pretty, very soft. Machine wash, lay flat to dry. Made in Turkey, 52 cotton, 48 bamboo, 245 yards. Very pretty bright red, the color's crimson. I like that, that's nice. It's nice and soft. It'd be good for a uh, lightweight summer top, summer or spring top, summer top shawl, anything lightweight, lightweight baby dress, stuff like that is what I would use that for. So I got two of those. And then I got it in an, another color. This one is called Jamaica Bay. That's pretty too. I like that color. So those were $3.99 a piece for a cotton bamboo blend. Mm. Hmm. Made in Turkey, 245 yards. It's not a bad price. I like it. I do like it. So I'm going to set that all to the side. Drink some coffee. Got to have caffeine to keep me going. We have this little sh coffee shop in the town next to me where my Walmart's at. It's called Samoji. And I don't know if it's anywhere else in the United States or if it's the only one. But they got really good coffee. Better than Starbucks. This is a strawberry, um, I forgot, espresso something. <laughs> That's all I need, espresso, right? Get me going. Okay. Now, this is the Mary Maximum Worsted Value. I get this, I have gotten this in their mystery boxes, and I think it's a very, very nice soft acrylic yarn. It is super soft for being a, um, acrylic. Mary Maximum Worsted Value 100% Acrylic Worsted Weight Yarn. Medium weight number four. Machine washable and dry dryable. Um, let's see. The color I have is called Deep Teal. Made in Turkey. Um, 216 yards. So the Mary Maxim Worsted Value is a dollar 99 i really think that is a very good price for um as soft as it is okay it's a very nice acrylic yarn you know how um it's much softer than red heart with love it's really squishy soft and i've mentioned this before when i got it in my mystery boxes that i really thought it was a very nice acrylic yarn it is 
it's very squishy. It's, I mean, I can't say it enough that I find it to be very soft for just being a regular four weight acrylic yarn. It's might be one of, it's better than Red Heart. It's better than Red Heart with love. To me, in my opinion, it's softer than I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. It's softer than, I don't know. It's pretty nice. It's a nice, it's a nice soft acrylic. I really like this one. Color I have here is called, okay, sorry. Um, Tanda di Matza. I probably said that wrong, but I got those. But yeah, that's a good price for those. Now, I've never had this before. This is the Mary Max some um, Titan bulky weight yarn. This looks like something I got in a mystery bag before from Yarn Inspiration. So honestly, it does, and it's very possible that even though this is from Mary, I don't know if it's true or not, but they could have gotten it. Anyways, let's read about this one. Machine wash and dryable. That's always a plus. Um, where's the yardage on it? 80 yards per skein, made in Canada with imported fibers. Huh. Teal heather is the color that I have here. So, it's a bulky yarn. It's a bulky five. It's pretty kind of a... It's probably a good bulky five. A lot of bulky five nowadays are kind of thin, but that's about right on. It's it's soft yarn. It's soft enough to put on your neck, but it's not going to be the softest acrylic yarn that you've ever felt. It is a 100% acrylic. It's softer than Red Heart Super Saver, you know, but not a lot softer than that. But it's still soft enough that I would wear a scarf out of it. Definitely. I think it's pretty. The color's got little specks. If you can see them of red and other colors of blue in them. But it's a very pretty. So I got some of that. Did I say the yardage on it? Gosh, I'm sorry for my short-term memory loss. I don't know what it's from. 80 yards. Now the Titan runs... Okay, so the Titan runs 349 a skein. And that's for a bulky 5 yarn. So in that pretty blue. I like it. I think it's pretty. All right. I got another bag here. <laughs> it's so exciting. I try to make my video unboxings not so long, but I get so excited. Now this I heard about. People told me I should try it. I never tried it before. This is Mary Maxim Aran. Some people say it differently. I got told I say it wrong. I say Iran, but I guess apparently it's Aaron. You guys know what I mean when I say Iran or Aaron or whatever. But anyways, um, Irish Tweed, which is um, an Aaron weight, is a four weight yarn. So, um, it's a worsted weight, 100% acrylic yarn, and it's nice and soft. It is. Oh, it's pretty. Made in Turkey, 205 yards. Um, the color is tincture. I hope I said that right. I don't. I don't even know if that's right, but very pretty. 205 yards of four weight. Nice soft too. So soft. It's soft like this one actually. The Mary Maximum worsted value, but. I think it's a little bit more money than this. So I got um, some of these white ones, um, and they run $3.99 a piece. It's pretty. It is. And it's soft. Squishy. So that's the Irish Tweed. Um, I think I have it in another color, actually. I do. I do. This is the same price, $3.99. It's Irish Tweed um, with flex in it. I like this one too. This one's more of a creamy white. See that one? And this one's just more of a kind of a... Oh, it's really soft. That's some soft yarn. For for, for the purpose of it being 100% acrylic, it's a, a nice soft acrylic yarn. Same price, same yardage as the last. $205, $3.99. I like it. Very pretty. Make a pretty hat and scarf set. 
Okay, so that's the Irish Tweed. And then I got some, I've had this before, Mary Maximum Starlet Sparkle. I actually have a cowl I made out of this out of gold on my channel. It's a nice soft acrylic too. I like it. And it, if I remember, it's relatively inexpensive. Um, $2.99 for this. I like sparkle yarn, so see that sparkle in it? So it's a four weight yarn, machine wash and dryable. The color is called Ruby. Um, 98 acrylic, two polyester, 196 yards, so almost 200 yards. It's pretty and it's soft. That's nice and soft. I think if you got this, you'd like it. I bought it again because I've had it once before and I remember that it was soft. So that's got that. Um, let's see. Okay, so this was something that I had never tried before. That's a big old stain of yarn. So this is Mary Maxim Baby Blankie. One ball makes a blankie. I've never seen it on their site before, but that does not mean that it wasn't there because sometimes I miss stuff on their site. Machine wash and dryable. Um, the color is, I have here is called Sweet Pea, made in Turkey. 695 yards, 100% acrylic. And what weight do they classify it as a four weight? Very good, I would too. Now I think, by if I remember right, um, this is one that would make makes designs if you do it correctly. If you do, like did it all in single crochet, I think it came out in designs. Um, I'm pretty sure, but that's not anything you would have to do. You know, you can just make it the way it is. It's pretty. It's a good. It's a. It's an acrylic yarn, and it's soft enough to make a baby blanket out of. It's not like Red Heart with Love, probably. That'd be my guess. So the Mary Maxim baby blankie is seven ninety nine, and that is for six hundred ninety five. So almost seven hundred yards of a one hundred percent acrylic. Seven ninety nine, and one makes a blankie. I don't think that's a really bad price. Um, truthfully, it's about what things go for nowadays so that's not bad plus i got 20 percent off this stuff too because they were having a special so it's pretty that's new to me i like jumbo skeins of yarn i said in my last video i would love i'm getting off track to have my own yarn line but unfortunately i can't afford to do that nor do i even know how but if i ever did i would make a wampin my my yarn line would consist of two kinds of yarn that's it it would be big jumbo skeins like 3,000 yards 3,500 yards of a nice soft 80 acrylic 20 polyester blend medium four weight yarn it would be affordable yet nice it would be available in every color under the rainbow big old jumbo skeins of that and the other one I would make would be the same, but it would have sparkles through it. Any color you wanted under the rainbow. Big old jumbo skeins. I would try to get 3,000, 3,500 yards. And I would call it yarn for days. That would be my wish. I would have to make the label really plain, you know, because, you know, the more fancy your labels are, the more money it costs. I would try to keep it cheap enough for, not, I wouldn't want the yarn to be cheap. I'd want it to be like a really soft acrylic like this acrylic polyester blend though and that's what I do hey it doesn't hurt to dream everybody's got to have a dream okay let's move on enough of that me talking about my dreams okay Mary Maximum this is a new one I've never had Mary Max uh, trendy baby antibacterial anti pill I've never had that before ever but it's extremely soft it's very soft and squishy I like it that's super nice I got some soft acrylic yarns at Mary Maxim. Not that's these aren't bad. The ones I'm showing you. It says it's a lightweight three. I think it's a very thick three. You could probably classify it as a four. Machine wash and dryable. The color is called yellow. Made in Turkey. 250 yards of 100% anti-peeling acrylic. That's nice. It's nice and soft. $2.99. That's a good price, I think, really, for 
this soft this as this being is as soft and squishy it says it's a three like i said i think it's kind of pushing a four almost a very very thick three or a four 250 yards i don't i don't think that's bad i really don't that's very pretty plus it says it's antibacterial and anti-peeling you can't really beat that i like that one too so far i've liked everything that i've got new ones and ones i've had before i hope this isn't too long so i got some of this i've had this before it's a super pretty yarn i have a hat made out of this on my channel this is a mary maximum natural alpaca it's very pretty very pretty it's a medium weight number four, which I would agree with. Hand wash and lay flat. Um, the color is called Thistle, made in Turkey, 262 yards, 70 acrylic, 77 acrylic, 20 alpaca, 3% three three visco, which is the flecks that are in it. So you can see the alpaca, that's the hair is sticking off of it. Not at all itchy, very, very nice, soft and squishy. It's a very pretty yarn. Um, what did I say the yardage was on it? So 262 yards for the alpaca is $4.99. It's pretty. I like it. I do. Pretty stuff. Alrighty. Let's see what else I got up in my... Oh, I don't know if I've had this before or not. This is Mary Maxim Woodlands. So, this is a medium white number four, um, machine washable, um, lay flat. The color is called sea foam, made in Turkey, 90% premium acrylic and 10% alpaca. So, it's similar to this one. It just got a little less alpaca in it and no, no, no tweeds. It's just pretty much solid. Um, so this one, the Woodlands, um, is, that's kind of expensive. Is that right? Nine, $5.99. Hmm. And how much was the alpaca? $4.99. $5.99. Um, 200 yards and this one is 262 yards i'm not sure why this one is more i think this one's prettier but there, i mean there's nothing wrong with this one it's nice and soft might be a bit pricey but i still like it might be a bit on a high side that that other one with the tweed in it it's, it's i like it a lot i mean i like both of them but i like the one with the tweed in it a little bit better and it's a dollar cheaper with more yardage okay so now I got some this Mary Maximum Maxim Aspen yarn. It's super pretty. Ain't that pretty? That's gorgeous yarn. And it's a bulky five, which is my favorite. It's machine washable and dryable. Um, the color color is called Fireside, made in Turkey, 130 yards. So that would be enough to make a hat. It's nice and soft. You can make a hat or a scarf out of it. Mary Maxim Aspen, if I remember right, there were one of these that weren't. Okay, these were $3.99. Again, for being a bulky five, I don't think that's a bad price. Those colors are gorgeous and very saturated. It's a roving type of yarn. Very pretty. I like it. Fireside is the color. I told you wrong on some of these colors, I think. Oh, well, you can look on the website and find them. But anyways, that was the Aspen. Very pretty. Very, very pretty colors. I think it is. Hat. It's speaking hat. And I got enough I can make a cowl out of it to match. Or oh, fingerless gloves. I, got, I need to make some of those. I have some on my channel, but I haven't made that much. I'm sorry if I'm talking a lot because I, I do that sometimes. And I'm sorry it's such a long video. Um, so now I have these, which I have bought these before, and I think they're a good value. That's where I bought them again. This is Mary Maximum Baby Sweets Decay. It says Decay Sport Weight. 
So these are only $2.99 a cake. They are a lightweight three, which I would agree with. It's a DK, which is a lightweight three. Machine washable, dryable. Um, made in China. The color I have here is called Chubby Cheeks. And it's a 100% acrylic and guilt free because it's baby sweets. I guess that's why they say that. But it's nice enough. Uh, it's a nice enough um, acrylic, 100% acrylic, 430 yards in one of these for $2.99. That's a good price. I always thought these were priced really reasonable for what they are. You know, it's an acrylic yarn. It's soft enough for baby blanket. $2.99 for um, 430 yards of a lightweight three. In my opinion, that's a very good deal. So that's what I got. That's the Mary Maximum Baby Sweets. Hey. I'm almost done. You're probably sick of hearing me talk. Okay, so let's see. Some of these are just one that I've got doubles of. All right, now this is a Mary Maxim, a marvelous chunky. So it's a bulky five, machine wash and dryable. The color I have in my hand is called Jazzy Blues. I'll show it up to you close in a minute. Made in Turkey, 270 yards of a bulky five. Um, now, these were the most expensive one I got. They were $8.99. It, aren't those pretty? Wow. It's soft too. Nice and soft. Very pretty. For 100% acrylic, it's nice and soft. 270 yards of a bulky five that would probably be enough to make you a hat and possibly uh since it's a bulky five possibly a cowl to go with it um a shorter scarf wristers could definitely make two of the smaller things probably out of that since it's a bulky five but those colors are gorgeous i like it it's so pretty very pretty now one more thing i got what i could not buy from mary maximum without getting one of their mystery boxes i haven't got a mystery box from mary maximum in a long time and if you ask me they have some of the best mystery boxes you can buy um so their mystery boxes run 29.99 now i have bought so many of these and i have found that they have anywhere between 15 to 20 skeins of yarn in them, depending on the size and what's in them. Let's open this one up and see you want to. Oh, cool. They got some yarns I've never gotten in their mystery box before. Oh, and they always have a stack of patterns in them. Some of them are knit, some of them are crochet. I can't read a pattern, so they're not useful for me, but, Let's check out what yarn I got. So, I got some Candy Shop yarn from Premier. If you guys are familiar with that. It's a medium weight number four. 260 yards. I think it's a very thick medium weight number four, though. Machine wash, tumble dry, made in Turkey. This color is called Razzle. 100% acrylic. I've had these before. I bought them from Premier. Very pretty. So, I got two of those in my mystery box. Let me set my mystery box up here. Bernat Super Value Big Stripes. Huh. I can't remember if I've ever had this before or not. Don't ask me. I don't know. The color is called Winter Sky. Um, medium weight number four. Machine washable and dryable. 100% acrylic. 252 yards of a medium weight number four. It's pretty. It's a nice soft acrylic. It's not bad. I like it. Made in India. So I got two of those in my mystery box. It's a pretty color. I never had this either. Mary Maxim Baby Plush. So this feels like Premier, um, their plush yarn. It doesn't feel like, really feel too much like, yeah, it's like velvet, the velvet and the plush and stuff it's very soft very chanel -y feeling it's a super bulky number six machine wash um 
Oh, and you can dry on low heat. Very nice. Um, made in China, 109 yards. Color blue. So I got two of those in my mystery box. Ooh, Mary Max, some scrub it. I've never had this. 100% cotton with fringe. So this is color mocha, made in China. 100% cotton. It's very stiff cotton. So yes, you would want to make a scrubby out of it for sure. A 76 yards would make you a scrubby. It says with fringe. So that's what it kind of looks like there. It's something kind of cool I guess you can make with that. I like it. It's classified as a four. but So that came in my mystery box. And then I got some Caron Simply Soft Stripes. Or no. Caron Simply Soft Ombres. You guys familiar with Caron Simply Soft? It's a medium weight number four. Very, very soft. I use it a lot for my baby dresses. This particular one was made in India. This one's called Great Purple Ombre. And it is a medium weight number four. 100% acrylic, machine washable, and dryable. 235 yards. That's beautiful, beautiful purple. So I got two of those in my mystery box. Premier Aurora yarn. Might have had this once or twice. It's very soft. Squishy. Mm. Squish, 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 squish. Let's see. Medium weight number four. Machine wash. Dry, dry flap. Made in Turkey. 100% acrylic. 166 yards. Mm. That's soft stuff. It's pretty. Very pretty. Rose hip is the color of that one. I like it. Oh, did it say it was a medium weight number four? Yes, but it's roving, so it's going to go to fives in some spots, and you can tell that right there. Very pretty. So I got two of those in my mystery box, and then I have never had this yarn ever in my life. I've seen it. Look how tiny they are. I thought these were, I don't know, it's like, okay, this is the cro croquet yarn. I don't know if I said that right. Croquet, croquet, whatever. You don't have to correct me. It's, you know what it is. Okay. Um, yes, I'm not very good at pronouncing things. That does not mean I can't teach my children to homeschool. Um, for some people that think that. I'm not the one that teaches them English. I actually excelled in math. I could, um, very good at calculus and stuff. So that's my teaching to my children. Um, I do that part. Mr. Bod is very, very good with words and he does that so it's all good my kids are smarter than me okay <laughs> this is i ask my kids how to pronounce and how to spell things so they're way smarter than me okay except for math i can always beat them in math <laughs> this is uh so tiny and cute it's like a little uh hockey puck kind of it's super cute it's rolled up really tight it's 1.5 ounces, 45 grams, 239 yards, 219 meters, red heart. Super fine number one, 92 cotton, I can barely read it, 5 polyester at 3% other, which would be the sparkles that run through it. This is called calming. It's really cool. 239 yards, I got two of those. They're so small and tiny, but look at the sparkles that run through them. Those are pretty. I like them. Um, I don't really like like fine weight yarns, but it's for someone that does. It would make a very pretty drapey um, shawl or a little scarf or a little just a little keyhole uh, ascot thing to go around your neck. Very pretty if you use a nice lightweight state lightweight stitch but that's the thing about mystery boxes from mary maximum you never know what you're going to get some of it you may not like and some of it you might i actually like everything i got i can't guarantee that some of it i mean i'm not a big fan of lightweight yarns but this is a gorgeous gorgeous yarn for someone that likes lightweight yarns so i got 12 skeins in my mystery box so that's my mary maximum unboxing so i want to address a question that people ask me a lot they say I do so many unboxings, I don't have giveaways. What do I do with the yarns? Um, I use some of them for my tutorials, which you see. I review some, and then I make things out of them. Um, the rest, 
uh, I have a lot of it boxed up at the corner. And then I do uh, usually, I've been making, um, I love mystery boxes. Um, a lot of you know this if you're on my Facebook page. Like, I super, super love mystery boxes. They're, they're so fun. So what I do is I take all this yarn that I purchased, um, some of it expensive and some of it, you know, cheaper yarns, and I pack mystery boxes. And I sell them on Etsy for $22. And um, they... You can, you can see, I mean, it's, I don't make no money off of them because I pack sometimes. Well, I usually have about 12 skeins of yarn, but some of them are, some is, um, you know, it's stuff that I've unboxed on video and, you know, whether it be from Hobby, which is an expensive place, whether it be from Mary Maximum, Ice Yarns, Hobium Yarns, um, it's just yarns that I've unboxed. I usually just pack them away in mystery boxes and put them in my Etsy shop for $22. But you can read the reviews, they're all five stars. Some people have pictures of what they got. Um, so it's not like I'm, it was another way for me not to have giveaways, but still give back and let people have um, a good deal on yarns because it, it's the low price and they, there's a lot of nice yarns in the box, well worth over what the asking price is for. So some people call me greedy for that. I don't really, know why but because it's <laughs> I'm not making the money off of it but whatever that's what I do with it for those who ask I just try to help people out by offering it um all these yarns that I unbox since I the ones I keep some of them but the ones that I don't use um I just make mystery boxes and it's super fun for me I would never pack a mystery box that I wouldn't want to receive myself so I think they're all pretty nice I mean they, they, I, they all got five star reviews so far but it's fun but yeah that's what I do with it so when I buy from Mary Maxim and Hershner's um, Hobium Hobby um, anywhere that I buy from whether it be an expensive place or some place that's not so expensive I take it and what I, I pick out what I'm going to use for tutorials or yarn reviews um, and then the rest, I, some of it's boxed up over here, but then the rest, I usually just mix it all up and make mystery boxes. And some of them have a, a good high dollar value in them, you know, you know, they're all different, but that's what I do for those that ask. Um, so thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Oh, those mystery boxes though, they go so super fast. They're gone within like 30 minutes when I put them on. So I, I can't really tell you when I'm going to put them on again or anything. It's just I put them on and then they're just gone like that. So yeah, I just, you just, you just had to follow me on Etsy if you're interested. But but anyways, that's just a way for me to try to get back because a cheap, cheap way to try to get back because I have all this yarn that I unboxed and I do it for you guys to show you the um, yarns and what's good and what's not. And then, you know, I'm, I told myself this year that I wasn't going to keep a bunch of yarn. That's why my shelves are pretty empty. So I had to have a play, something to do with it. So I thought that would be super cool. You know, I'm not doing giveaways anymore. And I thought this would be a way to offer people cheaper yarn or get yarn, nice yarns that maybe they can't get. Hobby Lobby yarns or Hobium yarns and stuff like that. Ice yarns in a mystery box. So that's it. That's, that's what I do with it. Um, but anyways, that's not anything you have to do. I was just explaining to those people that are, are that ask me all the time, what are you going to do with that, all that yarn and stuff like that. So now, you know, um, I do donate some of it though to, um, some people around here in my neighborhood that crochet. Um, but that's it. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. I hope you found some yarns that you like. I hope that I didn't talk too much because sometimes I do. I apologize if I did. Bye bye everybody. Thank you.